Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Then the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall also drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name. Okay, so and I know some people argue, well, you know, this they're, they're just burned up and that's it. They're non-existent after a little while. Well, first of all, that's not real justice. Second of all, smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. This tells you they're burning forever and ever. You never look out the window and say, oh, look at this. I see smoke in the sky. Oh, where's that smoke from? Oh, don't worry. That was, that was a house that burned, you know, 100 years ago. If it burned and it's destroyed, the smoke doesn't rise anymore. If it is totally annihilated, there's no more smoke. Smoke doesn't last for long. It disappears quite quickly. So if the smoke ascends forever and ever, that's to mean, that, that just goes to show you that it's burning forever and ever. That's why.